Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. Today we will be understanding one of the important service in AWS which is Elastic Container Registry. In order to understand better this service, let us consider one of the scenario where we have a developer who develops an application using any programming language like Java, Python or Angular. So once he completes his application, then he will be creating a package. From that package, he wants to dockerize an application. In order to dockerize an application, he needs to have docker installed on his laptop and then he will be writing a docker file. So once the docker file is ready, now he will be building an docker image using that docker file once he builds the docker image he needs a central secure place to store and manage these images that's where amazon ecr comes into the picture ecr is a fully managed docker container registry offered by aws it allows you to store, manage and deploy container images. Now the developer first creates a repository in ECR. This is where the image will be stored. After creating the repository, he clicks on view push commands in the ECR console. This shows all the Docker commands needed to push the image including login, build, tag and push. But wait, how does he authenticate with the ECR? That's where IAM programmatic credentials comes in, which is the access key and the secret access key. He configures the AWS CLI credentials with the AWS configure command. This step ensures Docker can authenticate with the AWS to interact with ECR securely. Now he uses the login command provided to authenticate Docker to ECR. Next he tags the image with ECR repository path and finally he pushes the Docker image to the ECR repository. Now the image is securely stored in ECR and ready to be used. Services like ECS and EKS which means Elastic Container Service and Elastic Kubernetes Service can now pull the image directly from the ECR to deploy containers at scale. Some of the features of ECR are image scanning, to find the vulnerabilities in the docker image so tagging and versioning to find and roll back to a specific version the tags will be really useful and then we can make the repository as public and private and this particular ecr service is tightly integrated with ecs and eks That's all for this video and thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. Thank you.